Good morning everybody and welcome to another one of our bite sized training sessions and this week we're going to be talking about interwords and its word processing capability within the Interform product range um, for creating word document output but before I go into the um, the training course for today I just want to talk to you about the the general concept of the bite sized training sessions that, that uh, we run um, these only work when you feed back to us the uh, the problems, the challenges that you're facing. So all of the feedback that you give us is is very valuable. Uh, the, also, the you know with our our sort of connections with our business partners, we we can feed information back to them. So should there be a shortfall in the in the uh, one of the products? or you've got some great ideas for, for additional features, by all means feed that back to us as well and we can talk to our, our partners. We can also you know, in, try and put pressure on them to put additional features into new releases that are, uh, that are due to come out. So if I can say um, you know, the, the feedback that you give gives us a, you know, a lot of information to work with. We can build our new future bite-sized training sessions on the back of that or we can discuss with our business partners. It's all really, really useful. So please keep sending in your um, your thoughts on the, the products that you're using within the portfolio. Okay, so word processing documents, um, why would we use them? Well, what, within the Interform product, we can create uh, documents type, like invoices and, and so on for, for you know, taking uh, small file information, but this gives us the ability to create a Word document, which is where the letter, or the, in this case, a contract, a ledger, uh, quotation, terms, and conditions, lots and lots of different types of documents. You can specify within a Word document the text that appears um, on the output, and also then merge that with data that comes from the the system. And all the, the word wrapping, the word processing is done within the product. And what you get out is a much nicer uh, flowing document that you would get from a traditional fixed space uh, spool file in the traditional documents that we're used to. Um, so where does the data come from? The data comes from either a DB2 table. It comes from uh, a query 400 uh, output. and one record in either of those scenarios would equate to one letter or that comes out of the interword product. Um, but we could also create our own scripting from your own uh, custom built programs. Maybe you write an RPG program that puts out some scripting, uh, which we can then feed that information into the word, into word product uh, to control and, and manipulate the document itself. So, Within the product, we can also use a, the formatting capabilities. So if we, if the database field is a number, and say that number is a 15 character, a 15 digit number with five decimal places, we can truncate that down into two decimal places so that uh, it doesn't, so it makes the, the document look a little bit neater. And we can also insert thousand column separators, uh, decimal points within a string, uh, we can, we can convert the text to uppercase or to lowercase or to a group paragraph where the initial letter is a, uh, an uppercase and everything else in that paragraph is lowercase. And, or we could create a title where every word within that phrase is a, uh, an, has an initial letter for each word. Um, within the dates, if you're supplying a date into the template, then we can change the date of format from a DMY to a YMD or vice versa, or um, DMY for American formats and so on. So we have the ability to uh, manage the uh, editing capabilities. I'm going to start off with an example output and work backwards to show you how that's constructed. But I want, I want you to see the um, what we're capable of, of producing. So in this case, we've got two pages corresponding to two separate um, documents for different different clients. And on the, the left-hand side of the document, you'll see that you've got the, the uh, address and some text and so on. So that's been constructed by taking the data uh, from a Word document, 
and merging that with the uh, information from a, a sort of DB2 or a query file. And you'll see that the second document on the right hand side has got some initial, uh, additional text in there. And this is, this is achieved, if we look at the actual input, the left hand side shows us what, what was in the word document. So you'll see the, the regarding your account text type of stuff. And then you've got these placeholder names. These placeholder names correspond to the data file field name. And whenever they marry up, it will take the data out of the file and push it into the documents. So you can see here from the the LTR NAM and so on, that's the name of the, the field on the database file. And it will take that data and push that into that place. But further down the document, you've got this .bct and ending in a .ect. These are conditions that we can embed instructions within the word document. And the BCT is a beginning condition test and the NCT is the end condition test. So in this particular case, we've inserted a test to say if the value of the field called LTRTOT is greater than 100, then anything between the BCT and the ECT will also be added into the document. So we've got another piece, another piece of text which says the next line in this is included from uh, so that's fixed text that will be in, entered into the document itself. But then the dot include underneath dot inc will include the contents of an entirely different document. So we can pull in the details from another document, another word document that will be embedded within it, based on the data that's coming into the the uh, template in the first place. So if we just go back a page just to look at the example, you can see that this next line is included from that's just a piece of fixed text that we added within the within the condition but then the the other line came from an, a separate document a separate word document um, and we can use that to construct all sorts of different outputs so i'm going to move on to another example um, where we're constructing a terms conditions page or maybe a quotation based on a number of different types of paragraphs. So in this particular instance, we've got paragraph one has got definitions, paragraph two conditions, three prices and so on. Each one of those paragraphs is stored in a separate Word document. And we're using the interword to construct the final output by bringing in those documents as and when the, uh, the rules uh, are met. And in this case, if you look at the input, I've used a command file uh, example because the, within the Word into Word product, we can use this command structure, um, and this is typically what we would write out from an RPG program to um, to make it totally flexible. But we could use the begin and end condition uh, as we saw in example one, and we can mix and match the two uh, command file processes and the uh, and the conditions within a document. You can use either or or both. In this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm setting some values using the dot set command. And so I'm pushing data into the variable, which will then be substituted into the document when it's when it's processed. Um, but I'm also using the include paragraph one. So these are separate word documents, paragraph one, two, three, four and five held in separate documents. So for customer one, we might have paragraphs one, two, three, four and five. But customer two might have paragraphs two, four, six, eight, and ten, and we can construct that using this command language or the the conditioning text, and then we can build the actual output dynamically based on the values of the the, the data that's coming in from the uh, for that particular client. So the interword product is managing the the word processing side of thing and it's it runs as a module within the interform 400 product it's a separate um module that needs to be purchased as part of uh, its additional module sets um but it fully integrates with the interform product by that i mean we can then print the documents so we can we could create use interword to construct the word processing side of it and then produce a printed version of that so we can print it out on a laser printer. We can create a, a PDF document and file that into a file system somewhere, or that could be emailed to a client within the Interform product. Um, we can actually get 
into words it constructs a word a final word um, document which has got all the data and the text um, and that could be created as a as a separate document and then interform could be used to file that or archive it email it print it and so on so the the, the two products are, are fully integrated um, that comes to the end of the presentation for the InterWord product. I just want to move on to the bite size training specifically and say that we have a, a web page. If you go onto our logicmate.co.uk and look at the training and support, there's a drop down box for bite size training. In there, you'll see a list of all the uh, previous bite size training sessions, and they're all available. And each of the videos for, for those um, are, are all on our YouTube channel. Um, so Check that out for uh, previous training courses. Um, from this will be the last live um, bite size training session that we're going to do. We're going to feed everything else through our YouTube channel. So every bite size training session that we've got will be recorded, and we'll post that up onto the bite size training. So so please go there and subscribe. Hit the notifications button on the YouTube channel. That will automatically notify you when we. Uh, send up a, a, a new video um, but we're gonna we're gonna post a, a new video every month on the last Friday of each month and we will send out an email communication as we always do, have done in the past um, but there will also be a, a notification from the YouTube channel directly when that when that's uh, posted as long as you hit the notifications button so um, go there check it out and subscribe send us some uh, comments hit the like button if you like the videos and so on this is how you can reach us uh, through our social media channels we have a logic mate uh, we, we all also have our own individual linkedin profile so you can link in, link in with us individually or, or via the company we have a, a twitter feed and, and check them out you know link link in with us check them out we're, we're posting social media events uh, all the time uh, there's our subscribe to the YouTube channel and as I said before hit the notifications button and you'll be notified uh, of any future uh, videos so that comes to the end of the bite-sized training session uh, for today and hope you all have a, a lovely day